Number 1. Rosemary's Baby Rosemary's Baby producer William Castle was convinced Roman Polanski's 1968 chiller was cursed. After its release, he was hospitalist with kidney stones and, after experiencing hallucinations during his near-death experience, claimed to have seen the film's lead character approaching him with a knife. The following year, Polanski's wife, Sharon Tate, was killed in the Manson family murders. Number 2, The Omen The Omen was plagued by a lot of terrible incidents, lead actor Gregory Peck and writer David Seltzer were on planes that were struck by lightning. The stuntman standing in for Peck during the famous rabid dog scene was actually attacked by Rottweilers that bit through the protective gear he was wearing. A zookeeper on set to tame baboons was mauled to death by a lion the day after completing their work. Most tragically, though, after filming was completed, special effects director John Richardson and his assistant, Liz Moore, were involved in a serious car accident. Moore was decapitated in an incident that echoed one of the omen's most disturbing scenes. Number 3 Poltergeist Child star Oliver Robbins claimed he nearly died after being choked by the arms of the evil puppet featured in 1982 film Poltergeist. A few years after the film was released, young actor Heather O'Rourke died from cardiac arrest and septic shock caused by a misdiagnosed intestinal stenosis. She was 12 when this happened. Number 4 Ghost, 1990 Okay, Ghost may not be scary, but one of the biggest Hollywood urban legends goes that poltergeist child star Heather O'Rourke haunted the 1990 film set. Crew members claimed to have continually heard the footsteps of an unseen figure as well as a child laughing. The film was shot on the same sound stage where O'Rourke had filmed scenes as a child actor. Number 5, The Innkeepers A lot of the cast and crew associated with The Innkeepers experienced paranormal activity in the form of lights switching on and off for no reason. Doors would swing open and shut, frightening those who were present. Cast members even received phone calls that, when they answered, would have nobody on the other end. The hotel where the film was shot the Yankee Peddler Inn in Connecticut, is known to be a hot spot for ghost hunters. Number 6, The Exorcist The Exorcist star Ellen Burstyn detailed a terrifying incident in which a fire burned the majority of the 1973 horror film set to the ground. Despite it destroying the interiors depicting the McNeil family's home, it somehow left the bedroom of the possessed Reagan. Linda Blair, inexplicably untouched. Number 7, The Exorcism of Emily Rose The Exorcism of Emily Rose's lead star Jennifer Carpenter says she was haunted by a ghost that seemed to have a taste for the musical. She told Dread Central that, while she was working on the 2005 film, a radio would continually turn on by itself whenever she got home. Number 8, Insidious, 2010 It was Insidious Hospital set where strange occurrences seemed to go down. While numerous members of the film's cast and crew complained about feeling unwell whenever they stepped foot onto set, there were also claims that a buzzer from an unoccupied floor of the building would continually go off. What was causing it remains unknown. Number 9, the Ring 2, 2005 The watery death of Samara in The Ring made a freak incident that happened during production on the film's sequel Even Stranger, the entire set flooded. Lead star Naomi Watts also claims that she felt odd vibrations on set that she couldn't explain. Number 10, Return to Babylon, 2013 
Silent film return to Babylon is said to have captured demonic activity on film. Director Alex Monte Kanawati used an old school camera with black and white film that he mysteriously found in a bag, but when he watched back what he'd caught on camera, the lead actors' s faces had morphed into demonic looking creatures.